Hey everyone, Greg here with K4AGF Adventure Radio. Today we're going to do a video on using the QMX transceiver, whether it be the QMX or the QMX Plus, and the FT8 radio app for Android. Uh, I promise as soon as the weather gets better, we're going to go out and do some hiking and activation videos. But here in the uh, low country of South Carolina, it's just we've had so much rain that everything is just a soupy, swampy mess, and it's just miserable. So uh, with that being said, let's head out to the workbench slash shack and uh, get this going. Okay, so we're back here at the bench. And uh, as I was saying, we're going to do a video on using the FT8 radio app for Android and the icon looks like that it can be had in the app store it is a ten dollar app not free um, <clears throat> and we're gonna be using the QRP labs QMX plus transceiver I just built um, this uh, I don't know I've just completed it about four or five days ago I wish I'd have made a video about it but I didn't I wasn't really filming things then it's all new to me but there's a lot of videos on uh, YouTube about building this transceiver what there's not a lot of videos of is using these transceivers, uh, the QMX Plus or the QMX with the FT8 radio app for Android. So that's what we're going to talk about. Uh, station, so obviously we've got our transceiver. For power, we've got a three uh, 3,000 milliamp hour uh, talent cell lithium battery pack we've got a cheapo speaker because there is no internal speaker in either of these transceivers and uh, our antenna is a 20 meter monoband horizontal dipole uh, it's up about 37 38 feet and the interface to the radio from your phone can't get any easier it is a USB type C to your phone and USB type C to the back of the transceiver. There are no special adapters required for this. So um, let's go ahead and um, get everything here turned on. And uh, we'll show you how this works. Let's get our speaker turned on. Let's turn on our power pack. Um, okay, so my phone is in the home screen. It's unlocked. We're going to turn on the transceiver, and you'll notice that the FT8 radio app opens automatically. And there it goes. We're on 20 meters, 14074. Note about this: these transceivers. They will, not, they will only run FT8 on VFOA. So if you're trying to do this and it's not working or whatever, uh, check to make sure you're on VFOA because if you're on VFOB, it won't work. And mode is digital. <clears throat> so we've already started receiving. Let's go through some of the, the settings menu real quick. Uh, you've got enable spotting set your maximum value on startup you keep i keep that off because it's really loud if you have that on our call sign of course our grid square our frequency offset our band this is where you select the band you want to use radio is set to qdx and that's pretty much all you need for your settings so let's go back and let it uh, listen again All right, so now we're receiving again. So first thing we wanna do in the app before we try to call CQ is we need to synchronize the time. Now the app is doing that now.
and it is synchronized. So we can stop that, return, and now it's got, if we select this bar here, it's going to give us recommended frequencies that we can use. And the share icon here is when you get done with an FT8 session, you share that to your email and you can uh, share the QSO log uh, and download it and then upload it to QRZ or Logbook of the World, what have you. So we'll select a frequency and now we'll return back to this screen and we're going to turn transmit to on so on the on the next cycle at 15 seconds it's going to begin transmitting and we are now transmitting uh, note about this unlike WSJTX it does not automatically transmit CQ for you you have to watch your timer so now it's it's done transmitting and we're going to go ahead and turn TX back on so that on the next cycle it will begin to transmit again and PSK reporter just picked me up I know because my watch just told me so so transmitting again and transmit has stopped so we'll Turn TX back on, so again, on the next cycle, it will transmit again. Hopefully it won't take too long to uh, pick up a contact. All right, and just like that, we have Kilo Charlie 2 Hotel Sierra Uniform. So now that we're in a QSO with someone, the FT8 radio app will automatically send the signal, rep the RST reports back and forth, and automatically send the 7-3. So once you're in a QSO, all that part is automatic. The only thing it doesn't do automatic is call CQ for you. Well, for some reason, I didn't complete that contact. Let's, oh, hang on. Let's reset. All right, let's try Kilo November 4, Victor Tango X-Ray. Let's see if we can complete a QSO with him so you can see how this, how this works. My ham clock is telling me that PSK Reporter has picked us up 220 times. Okay, so there you go. We got the signal reports were sent in the background, RR73, and that is done. And it looks like we're still working uh, Kilo November 4 Victor Tango X-Ray. So let's sit here and see if it'll automatically work him. Oh, now we're working November 3, Foxtrot, Mike, Charlie. <clears throat> so you can see how easy this is and how easy the setup is. And if you're trying to operate FT8 out in the field to do parks on the air, summits on the air, what have you, this is the smallest setup that I think I've ever, the smallest and most reliable setup that I think I've ever come across. And especially if you do it with one of these, I mean, literally that that's your whole station right there, aside from a battery pack and your antenna system. Let's let it finish out with, um, with this current QSO.
and seven threes is being sent now. So that's it. It's really that simple. Um, the transceiver itself, I did not change any settings in here to make this work with this app. I literally downloaded the app. In the settings, I selected QDX transceiver and connected my USB-C to USB-C and it just works. Um, so, again, I couldn't find any videos on, on this combination. So I hope uh, that helps somebody. Hope someone finds that useful. And uh, until next time, this is K4AGF Adventure Radio. I'm going to say 7-3.